Hello book lovers of the internet, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment letting me know whether you enjoyed this video once it's over or whether you've watched any of my other videos and whether you enjoyed those. So in today's video I'll be reading my Goodreads review of Neil Gaiman's The Ocean at the End of the Lane. And unfortunately I didn't really enjoy this one, in fact I only rated it 2.5 stars and I don't think of it as normal people by Sally Rooney bad, but it's not Avengers, everybody wants to rule the world by Dan Abnett good either. So check out both videos um, on my channel and it also has elements which reminded me of A Monster Calls by Peter Kness, The Bridge to Terabitia by Catherine Patterson and even The Spiderwick Chronicles by Tony Derlitzi and it also has uh, references to Harry Potter with mentioning Mandrakes. So at one point there are mandrakes mentioned and I'm actually not sure whether mandrakes solely belong to the Harry Potter herbology world, so let me know whether you know. So one thing that fascinated me about this book was how the spine didn't get a single crease on it, I'm not sure whether you can see it properly, not one crease. Regardless of how much I bent it, so that was the, the true magic in this book, so the magical surrealism is evident and also prevalent, looming in the shadows as Gaiman would put it, and I found there to be nothing that original. So it's meant to be autobiographical to a certain extent whereby Gaiman explains what the world presented him with when he was still a child and how he interpreted it. So we see the world from the point of view of a child. So how the joy was slowly sucked out of his life and how there wasn't much he could understand. As a kid you'd only want and should only know happiness after all, but this isn't the case at all with the pro protagonist of our tale who is never given a name. So his father is seduced to the extent where he threatens to drown him, his best friend eventually, spoiler alert, dies and he develops trust issues. So yeah, no shit Sherlock, when your father tries to drown you, what, what would you expect there to happen? So he is also a very smart child regardless and it is made evident that he is so because of how he spent most of his days reading. So this tale could have been 40 pages long, much like Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen if I have to be honest, without all the chatter in between, so the illustrations made up for that. So the ending itself actually made me feel sentimental because the reader gets to put the meaning of the title together metaphor by metaphor, so the ocean at the end of the lane. There is much that can be taken literally, but it is the handful of phrases, mostly figurative language, which helps you bond with the read that sticks. So, what I found to be most magical, however, was how, as I've mentioned, regardless of how far I bend the pages, a single crack didn't appear in the spine. So, Gaiman has a beautiful writing style, and I also thought this of Coraline and the Graveyard Book, but I also find him to be extremely overrated. So. Coraline and Graveyard book weren't my faves either, but they were beautifully written. In terms of storyline, I don't feel as though they should be so highly regarded. They are not imaginative, they are not nearly disturbing enough as they are made out to be, or as I portrayed them to be, so it could also seem as though Neil tries to accommodate both adults and children with his scripts, but it doesn't always work out, so that combination doesn't always work out the way he intends it to and it's not always great for both children and adults alike. So this one hinged more on the adult scale but you'd expect there to be more chapters with scenes a younger audience wouldn't clasp. And this was a very quick read and I'm rather certain knowing Neil and all that it was originally meant to be a short story which eventually developed into a short novel and ultimately published as a novella. So that's it from my end, if you enjoyed as I've mentioned make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, whether there are any books you'd recommend and I'll also leave my link to my review in the description below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.